Hello, it's Ugly, and welcome to a new series, The Rift Breaker. If you're enjoying the content on the channel, please like, subscribe, ring the bell for notifications. If you've done that, then thanks a lot. You're awesome. Thanks so much. Crack on without further ado. I've not played this game very much. I've played the prologue, and that's about it. So uh, we should begin going in pretty much blind, really. I know there's a robot. I know we shoot things. But let's start the intro. Procedure. Roger that. Begin field base setup. Pretty indicative of what's going to be going on. There's going to be aliens. We're going to stab them with a big sword. Oh, I hope that's a thing. I'm sure, it will be. I hope we get a bigger sword, an even bigger sword. Right. Oh, sitting comfortably. There's going to be a bit of chat. Rift jump successful. All systems check. Gravitational strength 1.05 g. Atmospheric pressure within safe levels. Magnetic field check. Error. Repeat magnetic field check with stationary equipment. Star system positioning check. Milky Way Galaxy. Sycorax Belt. Planet Galatea 37. Ashley, we have arrived. Welcome to Galatea 37, Mr. Riggs. It's so beautiful here. Virtual simulations on Earth were good, but this is amazing. An alien tropical paradise, and we're the first humans to experience it. I'm not exactly human. You have a few parts missing as well, and the paradise part is also left to be determined. Remember your training, Ashley. We should set up a base as soon as possible. You could at least pretend to be human. Just a bit. But you're right. There's no going home until we can construct a functioning rift station. Let's start with the basics. Ashley, construct a headquarters building to secure our presence here. It will allow me to reconstruct if my armor is destroyed. Okay, right, I think I've... We don't have enough carbonium no. to build an HQ. Let's scout for a deposit and set up our base close to it. We need to move quick. It's probably a matter of time before the natives spot us. Okay, right, I think I've finally stopped yabbing so I can get some words in. Um, right, so... What we need to do, and I've been doing this, I've actually been going around just scouting out places. So what we need to do is we need to get this stuff over here, which is car carbonium, which is blue stuff. And we also got to get this yellow stuff and presumably we got to get a bunch of other stuff. So as you can see from the mini map down here, we've got a number of deposits. And this seems like a fairly good place to, I guess, a fairly good place to go. So we'll just stab that guy up. Uh, it seems fairly defensible. We've got walls. We've got like a, a bit here. I... I like it. I think we're going to set up our base here. Uh, if they ever stop attacking me. So, right, give me a second. Sword's pretty good for stabbing up, stabbing up little griblies. So, I feel fairly happy with that. So, um, I think... Uh, I, the thing about these games, right, what I do is I, I tend to sort of trap myself in quite heavily. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to... This time, I'm going to... I'm going to try not to do that. <laughs> We've got, like, lots of rock formations, which are cool, because I presume those rock formations are pretty much impenetrable by the opponents. So I reckon if we put a wall here, and a wall down here, and then a wall down here, well, not down here, up here, well, you'll get the idea. I figure that we can, like, make quite a nice little secure base. It's looking rather ideal in that, in this little bit around here. So... I think the main base should be like here. So you hold down control and you build your mine. Oh, uh, was it the main base? All right. Headquarters, we need carbonium. Okay, right. So we're going to go manually snaffle some of that by using the space. 
just drill that out. We need up 200. We right. enough resources to construct a headquarters yeah. building. All right, that's Finally. beautiful. Let's place it close to a carbonium deposit. This will help us speed up resource production. All right, I reckon here. Headquarters construction is in progress. All right, this and then we're going to be our main base of operations on Galatea 37. Drill up oh, some no. carbonium. We have to protect this building at all costs. We will protect will it, don't worry. Here whenever I am critically damaged. There is no other backup if this building is destroyed. That's basic training, Mr. Riggs. Let's focus on the less obvious things. I am required to remind you of basic protocol. Let's get 200 or 100. Our base will require huge amounts of power to operate. Right now, we can only construct some basic power plants. Wind turbines and carbonium power plants. Wind turbines are less effective, but they work around the clock. Carbonium right. power plants are very effective, but they use up the deposits that they are placed on. In the beginning, it's best to use a combination of these power sources. We can balance energy peaks and shortages by storing excess energy in energy storages. Also, remember to connect all buildings to the power grid using energy connectors. They connect all buildings within their area of operation, even if power lines are not visible. They're a bit chatty at the moment. Oh, bit of a save. That's fine. Right, so I'm just uh, clearing out some of the uh, fauna so I can Actually, flora. I'm sure that our presence will not go unnoticed. <laughs> we should okay. build our base as quickly as possible. Right. I need some power bits. Standard protocol advises to set up walls and sentinel towers around the base. However, I don't expect as much aggression from the native fauna as in the simulations. So far, it looks like the long-range quantum scans were very accurate. The local fauna and flora appear almost exactly like during training. Follow the protocol, Ashley. The environment in the simulation was very accurate. That's true. But the scenario was crafted by Riftbreaker God Command. Damn. They usually focus on the brute force aspect of these missions. Do you want to run a brute force check if this is a simulation? You never give up, do you? Do you? Okay, Mr. Stubborn. I guess it won't hurt to set up some solid defenses, just in case. Thank you, Captain Novak. You're welcome, Mr. Riggs. Right. Right, we've got the Carbonium factory working. We've got a little bit of power. These are our stats up here. So this is power, Carbonium, orange stuff, organic stuff, more stuff, defense stuff. It will become obvious in a bit. Right, if you've never seen this game before, anyway. So I think we do need to put some more of these in. Oh, uh, you know what? We, we need more carbonium. So short on carbonium. It's unbelievable. Right. So once we've got that in, we will then uh, get a couple of storage batteries in. They cost like, what, 50 each? We want a couple of those bad boys in the, in the house. All right. Let's get some storage in. Um, where are we going to put the storage? Just out of the way. And slamming my eyes. Awesome. Right, that's power storage. I'm going to go with just like um, wind power at the moment because I think I don't want to use my carbonium. Like, not really. All right. Well, we got like 47,000 of it, but I don't think we're using that much power at the moment. And we can hopefully upgrade some, um, I want to go for like, I'll go for plant biomass. That sounds fine. All right. Obviously, we want a little bit of uh, built up temporarily so we can outlast the, um, any kind of shortages. Yeah. Okay. Right. So we have to start building walls next. Um, we can build doors. So rotate that door and I'm gonna put a where is it actually is there another carbonium deposit down here there is isn't there right okay right we can it, nothing's gonna attack us straight away so we've got time to establish a decent base to be honest and I would prefer to get a decent base than a shitty base that's too small although I'm at risk at like taking up the whole map at this rate right I think bridge across there 
Well, not bridge, a wall across there, right? Right, let's do it. Right, nice. Right, that's in there. Next stop. Right. Um, we got another door here. And put another. I don't know how effective this is going to be. I've never built a base in this thing before properly, really. Nice. So that's that across there. All right. Um, I think this is all, all good. I think we can't get through here. He says, finding a hole immediately in the base. Okay, right. No problem. Ashley, I strongly advise you to construct an armory. It will allow us to craft new weapons and upgrades. Right. There and we go. Manufacture field repair kits as well as other usable items. And it will produce more ammunition we for your guns. Worry about that yes, for the time that being. That is an important building. Right. Put a gate in there. Put some car. Like All right. Yep, that's good. All right. Next stop. Um, we'll put a gate in here. I mean, it can't hurt. I don't know how weak the gates are. Again, this, this game, I believe, has got quite an extensive upgrade system, so, um... Right, that's cool. Ooh. Do, 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 just stabbing away. Right, nice. Ooh. Right, saving progress. Good, good, good. Right, let's build some more wall. We've got a gate. This is, I suppose, that when we first start, that these are going to take a little while to configure, aren't they? So, you know, Rome wasn't built in a day, and nor is Ugg's base on an alien planet. Right. I've been quite looking forward to this game coming out, actually. I, I, I sort of followed it. I, haven't, I didn't really follow it that religiously, but I thought, you know what, you can't follow everything, because if you follow everything, you're never going to be sort of pleasantly surprised by anything. So hopefully, um, this is going to be quite cool I mean I like building bases I like defending bases I think oh yeah I've got a long track record of building things quite badly um, and then uh, over here another gate uh, right just build some carbonium we're gonna we're gonna have quite a perimeter to defend so we're gonna have to like crank out stuff but I think I've got a lot of resource here so I'm feeling quite oh, I'm like, I'm feeling quite I feel like it's quite a nice starting zone I don't I don't know right put that in there put that in there right that's cool have we got any more wall to be made in that's all good it's all sealed off over there We've got a bit of seeing off to do here. That's fine. Put it on there. Not enough carbonium. Ugh, not enough carbonium to do that. Oh, I've just got to clear this out. So this is just set up the perimeter originally. So got to be done. Got to be done. And we'll just get it done. Get rid of these mushrooms. And get more carbonium and build it. The final bit of this. I'm detecting a large group of creatures heading towards our position. Glorious. It looks like our presence is being noticed. Ashley, okay. we don't have a lot of defensive structures. Prepare to fight. I'm not sure which way they're coming from. Up more defenses. We'll have to handle this ourselves. Remember to use repair kits if necessary. I don't mind a bit of fighting. We've got 27 seconds. That's plenty of time. Right, let's build some more carbonium. Right, nice. Right, I don't know where they're coming from. Uh, right, we need to build a bit more powered turbines. Oh, they coming from the south. Oh no, that's just a, a thing that's out of power. That's fine. Just wait until they attack. Uh, check the defenses. Check the 
Oh, that's good. It's not a hole in my base. Right. Oh, we haven't built an armor yet. Where are they attacking? Are they going to attack? Base is under attack. Right, there you go. Down that way. Right, let's skedaddle over there and Ashley, put some hurt in. Are you still skeptical about the local creatures level of aggression? I'm attacking my base, you cowards. For prepping this planet for colonization. Humanity uh, lost its love for nature after the Yellowstone eruption. But that doesn't mean we shouldn't try to preserve the I hurt my base quite a bit. Earth is barely habitable at this point. We have to secure Galatea 37 for colonization and resource extraction as soon as possible. Excessive care about the local environment is unnecessary. That's not entirely true. Other rift-breaking missions have already secured a number of resource-rich planets for humanity. We're not on the brink of extinction. Our goals on this mission are clear, and our survival and security is the top priority. Damage to the ecosystem is inevitable. You wanted to come here yourself, and you knew what has to be done. Are you doubting the mission? I know what has to be done. That's not the point. Galatea has to be prepared for colonization. I don't doubt that. If I didn't come here myself, then someone else would have. I believe that we can do this in a better way. We have to defend ourselves and secure the necessary resources to set up the rift station. But we don't have to destroy all the wildlife we encounter. Humanity doesn't need another stripped down factory world. If we want to progress as a species, then we should study this planet and learn how to blend with the environment and prepare a safe home for humanity. Yeah, that's the way it normally works, isn't it? Right, we're still good for power. We've got like 200 and uh, 280, so we're getting some of that it stuff. Looks like we have the base up and running. Boom. If you'd like to construct more advanced buildings, you'll have to upgrade the headquarters building. Unfortunately, this process also emits a lot of high-frequency energy waves. These creatures are clearly drawn to our energy emissions, so it will be like an alarm bell for them. We should strengthen our defenses before upgrading the HQ. Right, so these things give you, like, more um, def base defense stuff. So I just need to find a place to stash them, really. So, um... Uh, we haven't got a lot of. We haven't got a lot of. Um, we haven't got any extra storage actually. I don't think we can build extra storage. Uh, communications hub, armory, roof station. Not so much. Okay, right. We need more power. This is going to be the way of things. Storage is full. Build more storage facilities. Make sure we got enough power. We're running out of power. Right. Armory construction finished. We can now use it to craft new items. Right. It will also automatically manufacture ammunition for my weapons. Okay, right. Upgrade the HQ headquarter HQ building. Headquarter building. Headquarter building. No, we haven't built any um, defenses yet, so we need to get that sorted out. Oof. And we need to also start installing the infrastructure that's going to allow us to defend our base. So we might as well get that done while we're at it. We only power nodes um, sort of all around here. And there'll be towers and such like. All right, let's just put these in. Let's just whack them in. Right. Getting this in there. Right, cool. Right, so we can build eight guns at the moment. So we need to build a few more base defense mojos. I think the technical term for them is that. All right. What is it? Over here. All right. So that'll take us up to what? That allows us to have 12 towers. So let's build, start building towers in. Uh, one there. One there. Cool, we're out of power already. Nice. 
Uh, I want to build one of these. I'm going to build one of these uh, things. Give me a second. Uh, one of these biomass things, because at least we can dump our biomass into it. That sounds really rude, doesn't it? Right. Uh, connect this up to that. Oh, did it not move? Let me do it. Oh, no. There we go. Right, we're going to build that and then we can dump our dump our biomass in there. At least we'll get the power going. It'll, it'll be a little bit uh, manually intensive, but I'm sure... I'm sure it'll be all right. All right, there you go. I don't know how we put stuff in there. How do you put stuff in? Oh, it's not even built yet. All right. Have you, are you full? Minus one a second. Oh, it just passively drains it out of me. Cool. So if I just go around swiping at Biomax um, at stuff, it will, it will like, let you just see my resources slowly going down. That's cool. Right. Excellent. I don't know how that works, but now I do. Right. Um, uh, weapons. So where were we? Right. We've got one there, one there. Oh, you see how cunningly that is. That, did I leave a hole? No, it's not a hole in the wall. It just looks like a hole in the wall. Cool. Right. There. 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 Admittedly, it's only one at the moment, but you know, hey. I'll just throw that in there. That in there. How we got? How we doing? Hopefully we're doing alright. Right there. Oh, we've got to defend over this side. Got two left. Cool. Right, I think we need another two of these things. And we'll be good to roll. Okay, right. Uh, oh, we finally got some ammo for our... What was it? Oh, no. Shit. He's laid the bomb. He says, uh, we've yeah, got some ammo for that bad boy. Okay, right. Nice. How are we doing? All right. Yeah, good, good, good. Oh, we've got no power over here. That was an oversight on my part. We'll fix that. All right. Sweet. Uh, put that in over there. Okay, right. Uh, we're going to build another one of these. Uh, we've got plenty of power to do it, so we're going to put another one of... Building one of these things, right. That should give us access to like another eight turrets, which I will busy myself with doing. All right, armory, no. Communication hub, no. Headquarters, no. Okay, I think it's almost time to update the headquarters, but can we do that until we've got... Do we need more storage? Is it here? That's a standard floor. That's just repairing shit. It's digging. Ah, solid material storage. That's what we need to do. We need to put a bit more solid material storage in because that is that is what we like to call stuff where they put stuff. All right. Oh dear. All right. Whatever. That's fine. Right, so that means we can gather more of this shit, which is awesome. We can put a few more gun towers in now because we have a little bit more in the way of defenses. Um, there's two there. Those two can cover each other. Um, put another one in there. All right. Yeah, it's a bit annoying going around this way, but I suppose, you know, it is the price we pay. Yeah, that's good, but lacking power. Hold on. Oh. Uh, right, um, was there one over there or two over there? There's two over there, cool. And then there's one. Uh, this is a bit shit, isn't it? Right, put that in there. I feel like it's actually quite, it's all right. Um, admittedly, admittedly, we, we don't have a massive amount of stuff, but you know what? It's only our initial base, so we'll put another one in like that. 
and we'll put another two over here because that means we've got two there nice and we should have two on this wall as well just in case and I think we've pretty much got the perimeter nailed down feeling good feeling good right uh, fuel is going okay we've got quite a bit of this get some biomatter while we're at Ashley. it I'm detecting a sudden change in air humidity and wind speed. A fog is forming on. Get some more of this. Is it biomatter? I don't know if we're collecting biomatter. This fog is very dense. There we are. I it's excellent. affecting the efficiency of our solar panels and wind turbines. Based on my calculations, it shouldn't last for long. God damn it. Right, we need better power supplies than this shit we've got. Alright, so we'll just wait for this. What's going on over here? What have we got? Ooh, he says, just walk into a wall. What's this over here? Why has it got any power? Right. Yeah. Sweet. See, our base could be in serious trouble if we get attacked when we're like this. It's like, uh. a little short still but you know what there's not much we can do about that I think we need just more more technology that's the solution to all of our space problems I wish this thing would fuck off this um, cloud of garbage that really seems to be set on an irritating me okay right sweet no go away <laughs> it's like why what else have we got as well? We got um, we can paint the floor as well, and we can paint like the floor in like big squares. And I believe that that the fog is clearing up. I don't quite know what this does for us. Maybe it just makes it like. Super, super mean looking. Oh shit. Alright, whatever. I don't know if it helps at all. Right. Literally no idea. I suppose it lets me know where my base is, so I'll just put it in. By the way, the squares of all the tiles are like different types as well. Oh my god, have I left a hole in the base there? Oh dear. Right. So look at that. That's some terrible base. That's some terrible gate placement, isn't it? Look at that. I'm so bad. Right, sell that. And then we'll build an actual proper gate that will actually function as a gate. Oh, you idiot. Okay. All right. Give that a bit of a rotation. Eh, there you go. Right. So that's in there. Right. So it's time. I think it's time with all this resource we've got. Time to update the um. Update this thing. So uh, build that. Click on that. Click that. Yep. We're ready to roll. A strong attack is coming in one minute and a bit. This will attract a lot of attention. We should reinforce our defenses as much as we can. Things are going to get very hot very soon. We've got these little platforms we can put in, so we can stand on top of the fence and shoot. Might put some of those in. I don't know where the attacks came from. Oh, it's sort of coming from the bottom right hand side, so that's cool. I am glad 
we are back on the same page about properly securing our base. We can't save this world if we let it kill us. Hey, Mr. Grumpy? Why do you insist on calling me names? <laughs> I hope you're not offended. Are you? No, that would be inefficient. Come on, Riggs. Let's not be so serious. I had to give you a better name than what they called you. Rip Jump and Exploration Mega Suit Mark IV Griffin Variant. What is wrong with that name? It's, it's a pretty good name. I guess the trick is to not run out of organic matter. We should probably not do that. Just get around, gathering some more bio garbage. Plant biomasses, that's what I want. Can't kill you. Storage is full. We should construct more storage buildings. We should construct more storage buildings. I'm going to get off and do that. I can sense the ground shaking. I estimate a few thousand creatures running at our base. Right. They are very close. Prepare yourself, Ashley. We've made all the preparations that we could. Let's go out and meet them. Right, we're on our way out then. They're going to come from down here, so we'll go out to see them. Hello. We've got our guns. Uh, oh. Right. Might as well fight within the base. Whoa. Should have done a, a bit more clearing off of the uh, stuff outside here. This will buy some time until the next attack. Let's check what's new after the HQ upgrade. We should start downloading new blueprints so we can construct more advanced buildings and items. A Build the communications hub as soon as possible. And we need to get okay, all that stuff done. Let's remember to build some additional power plants for it. It consumes a lot of energy. Oh, uh, right. All right, and then we need to just get this thing here, and then we just need to repel that. Oh, where is it? Uh, not sell it. Repair it. Bit of a noob with the instruction, all the uh, stuff. So, what do we get? What do we get for that? Um, all right, we've got a communications hub. And we can't build a roof station yet. Do we get anything new for that? I don't know what we got for that. H headquarters level two, additional storage. Oh, we got additional core storage, and we could store more stuff. Liquid? What the hell? Okay, right. Cool. Uh. Have we, have we got anything particularly new and exciting from this? We've got a roof portal, but we haven't got a roof station yet. We can't build that, so we need to be able to store more. Right, we just need to build up more stuff. We need to build that. How much power does it use? Uh, energy uses 50 energy. I don't know how much we get for these um, crappy wind turbines. They only give us 12. Ugh. The wind is picking up. A storm is coming. Oh, cool. I don't know if we can upgrade them. Uh, let's see. Uh, the storm oh. is very violent, but oh. our base is safe from the wind. Wind turbine output is at maximum levels. Go wind turbine output. Oh, it is a pretty large amount, isn't it? All right, it's a storm. We're good. Okay, right, let's go get some more ammo. Yeah, yeah, the wind turbines are go cra cr going crazy. Okay, right. So it's time to... We've got enough... Yeah, we've got enough to do that. So we just need to build a communications array. Presumably this will be... Uh, I'll just tuck it away somewhere. There's an innocuous place to stash this thing. Maybe... Maybe there. Communications hub construction in progress. Oh. We can download all the technology blueprints that we need through this building's quantum entanglement template matrix. 
It's a pity that we can't upload anything back to Earth. There's so much data to be gathered here. I can't wait to start collecting research specimens. We will be able to share all of our research data as soon as the Rift Station is operational and the Rift back to Earth has been opened. Let's focus on that first. Yeah, let's focus on that. Oh. Wow, these things are very large. Cool. The storm is over. It's so quiet all of a sudden. What are we doing for organic matter? Oh god, we got cool. Alright, we'll get some of this stuff. There we go. Alright. Plant biomass. Can't be dealing with getting this plant gathering all this plant biomass all the time. Alright. I wish I had a flamethrower. How many bullets we got? Oh, we are low bullets. Smash and smash. Alright, cool. Alright. Well, I suppose that got our plant biomass up, so. PA to the plant biomass. Alright. I don't know how much we got. 791. Cool. Alright. Excellent. Okie dokie. Right. Let's go over here and look at this thing. Oh, it's being built. Okay, right. I think I think that that is um, to where we're at. So um, I would just like to say, now we've got that built. Um, if you enjoyed the content, please like, subscribe, ring the bell for the notification. Communications of construction finished. We can now use it to download new yeah. technologies. Keeps you up to date with what's going on in the channel uh, and, and lets you uh, know when I've uploaded more stuff. So that'd be absolutely awesome if you could. I will see you for the next thing that goes up on the channel. Adios.